My name is uh, Gerald Schroeder. Uh, I have a background in the sciences and also in Torah study. My background in the sciences is from MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The, uh, I have my bachelor's there, my, bachelor's, my master's, my PhD. The doctorate's in two fields. It's in the earth sciences and nuclear physics. The second part got me to see a whole range of nuclear exposure, atomic bombs tested. The first was in Nevada. And uh, my suggestion is, as I s have, I've said many times, it is inadequate to pray for peace. You have to work for peace also. As Larry Riskin says, pray as if everything counts on God and act as if everything counts on you. So the topic I'd like to discuss just a little a bit about is this whole idea of evolution. Is it possible that life evolved from the simple to the complex? The problem isn't the development of life from the simple to the complex. The, the problem is what drove that development. The word evolution is a loaded word. If you're using it in the scientific community, the meaning of the word evolution is random mutations, with the emphasis on random, random mutations make changes in the sex line, and then those, those random mutations make some bi bi lion cubs stronger and some weaker, some cheetah faster, some slower. Now the second half of, ev of evolution is the survival of the strong lions over the weak lines, and that's completely not random. So the second half of the word evolution is 100% not random. Strong lions eat weak lions. The reason there are not a, lot of, not, not a lot of lions in the world isn't hunters. Lions kill lions. And fast cheetah get more food than slow cheetah. So, so they have more progeny, more offspring. Hence, you have really fast cheetah. So the, the second half of evolution, of the word evolution, is 100% not random. The difficulty is the first half of that phrase, evolution. The mutations. When you're using the word evolution, it is understood, in the strict meaning of the word, that the mutations were random. There are no data, zero, that show the mutations were random. The, we know the mutations happened. I hope they did. If they didn't, then I, the Bible is wrong also, because the Torah describes the development of animal life as an example. Starts in verse 20, and by verse 26, you have Adam. So there's almost no information given, but the flow is exactly as the fossil record. Animal life starts in the waters, an explosion, that's the waters teem with life, that's Genesis chapter 1, verse 20 and 21. Animal life moves to the land, becomes mammalian, becomes human. That's all the Bible says. That's also what the fossil record says in tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of samples. The question is, what drove that flow? If you use the word evolution, it is understood within that those mutations that drove the flow from the simple to the complex were random. There are no data that show that they are random, and no evolutionists would be able to prove they were. The proper word to use is development. That life developed from the simple to the complex? Absolutely. The Bible says it. The fossil record says it. But the word development is neutral. It doesn't say yes, random, or no, random. It doesn't say yes, God, or no, God. It merely says that the life developed, moved forward from the simple to the complex, exactly as the Bible claims. So be careful when you're presented with data on evolution. Even in a biology class, ask the instructor, unless you can lose your degree, then don't ask. But, but ask the instructor, well, does that mean that the mutations were random? And then if you're still on ground, he's not going to throw you out of the class, could you demonstrate for me that the mutations were random? Well, he says, well, it isn't a straight line. You know, why, if God were running the show, why wouldn't, why wouldn't it be a straight line? The, the, uh, the MIT ma uh, alumni magazine, Technology Review, a few years, uh, two, a decade or so, I guess, had a God figure drawing the, uh, what was it, the Michelangelo picture, the one with uh, the man, an all crumpled piece of papers, bad designs on the floor. The mistake to think is that when God runs the world, there are no divergences, is completely wrong. It doesn't matter whether you think the, the biblical flood of Noah happened or didn't happen. It's in the Bible to teach something simply, that God can let the world get so far off course that God has to step in and get it back on course. So the same would be true with the development of life. The Torah does not expect a direct flow. Divergence will happen. Use the word development next time you're being, being uh, confronted, and again, don't push your, your instructor into the corner where he's you know, either embarrassed because you might get thrown out of the class. Maybe you should ask him after class.